It's time for nail mail. Here we go. Let's go, people. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, I got some more maniology nail mail. I'm going to open this baby up. We're going to see what's inside. Well, what's inside? Oh, maniology. You're the best. I got my pineapple. I am not going to share with my chitlins. I got the... Premium tools for nail artistry. Oh, this is my drawing brush, yeah. I was deciding between this and another one and I needed a really teeny tiny small detail brush. So we'll open that up in a, in a second and check it out. And I got, a, I, I got a receipt, people, I got a receipt. Yay me, is this it? Oh man, oh I have more than that. What is this? This looks like a little kit of some kind. Oh, I got the Holly Jolly kit thing. All right, so this is some um, stamping polishes. And, oh, that's it, huh? That's, that's, that's all that's in the bag, people. I got two stamping polishes and the plate. This was not very expensive. I got this on a super sale. Um, oh, no, this is not Holly Jolly. This is some other kind of um, stamping kit. I'll make sure to put it in the somewhere. I'll put it somewhere for you guys or in the description. And this was the layered stamping and I was so jealous of all the stuff that I saw on this. So I am super duper duper excited about this and um, I'm excited to try some things. So all the different layers, man, they look good. They look good. Let's look at the colors as well. Three colors. Holy shimolies people. It's three colors. Oh, they're this is not the color I expected, but this is terracotta rose. I expected it to be, I don't know, a more rich color. It seems that way on the videos and on the and on the um, on the website. But anyway, it's it's pretty. It's definitely pretty, and it certainly is pretty in all the photos that I've seen. So yeah, coconut. I've heard a lot of really good things about this color. Super excited to use it. It's kind of like a creamy white instead of a bright white. I usually use bright white, but hey, I'm in for creamy white too. And this one is spiced orange. So this will be a nice accent color. Okay, so I checked it out. The bundle is called the Wild and Free Bundle. So let's check out the spiced orange first. I am kind of a nerd. I always make sure that my Swatch Me stickers are the same stamp. I don't know, something, something's going on there. Something's going on there with me, okay, people? I don't know what it is. So let's see how they stamp, shall we? Oh, I waited too long. That's my bad. That's my bad. That's my bad. So yeah, I'll do it again. Oops. I had to open up a new stamper head because my daughter used acetone on my stamper. Yeah. Yeah, that happened to me. Okay, let's see if we can get that on there better this time. Okay, well, maybe I didn't prime my stamper right, so. Okay, I'm not gonna have a cow. I'm just gonna try it again one more time. And hopefully this new stamper head doesn't do me wrong. Um, and I'm making a mess of my thing. This is the only one I've ever made a mess of, so I might do a brand new Swatch Me sticker for it. Oh yeah, that's much better, okay. So, yep, there it is. I'm definitely going to do a new Swatch Me sticker for that because I won't be able to stand it. I just won't be able to stand it. Okay, um, the next up is the terracotta color. This one, by the way, I, I don't love this color, but I mean, it stamps pretty well and it's shiny and it's very fall-like, so I can see use for it. The terracotta rose, I can definitely see myself using, although I did think it was a different color, so I thought it was more of a burnt red kind of it's more brownish i would say that's okay though it's rosy Ooh, hey guys sorry sorry to take you for a trip there again <laughs> all right what is wrong what is wrong with the damper head i don't like it it's not making my heart smile people but that's okay. Again, <clears throat> we're not going to panic. We're just going to do it again. 
And if I gotta new, do a new Swatch Me sticker for this one, then I will. That's what I get for using a brand new stamper head without trying it out. You know? You know what I mean? Okay, let's get it on there. Boom. Yeah, that's better. So I was just taking too long. Probably gonna have to do a new Swatch Me sticker for that one too, but that's okay. I'm not panicking too much at this point. Let's see if we can at least get the coconut one to do right. Um, by the way, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's a good fall color for show, for show, for show. It's super wobbly. Oh, I apologize for that, guys. I'll see if I can't figure something else out in the future, but sorry for taking you on the trip. Ooh, it's a little more sheer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought everybody was crazy about this color. Hmm. Mm, let's see how it stamps. Oh, well, it stamps are pretty lovely. And you can kind of see it's got a little detail over the white. Hmm. Stamps nicely over black. I'm in. I like it. Okay, so that was the stamping colors. Let me get the stamping plate out and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so here is the Wild and Free Bundle stamping plate. This is plate M029. I'm gonna take the top off of it. We're gonna see how stamping goes with it. Okay, so we're deciding to go with this middle one is what I've chosen. And let's do this thing. I think we'll start out, let's start out with the spiced gold and do this one. I've got to fly like the wind because something's going on with my stamper. It's a brand new head and I've got to do it properly. Okay. Let's get this stamped on there. Oh yeah, that worked out. Got a little extra space at the bottom, but quite honestly, my nails aren't this long anyway, so I ain't got to worry about it. You know what I mean? All right, let's see if we can get this thing to line up. I love how my fingerprints are all over this plate now. I got some greasy hands, apparently. Ah, where's my snipper? Um, mm, that's not as pretty as I would like, so I'm gonna redo that one. Let's just better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than sorry. That glare on there is really bad, isn't it, guys? Sorry about that. There. We'll see if that's not any better. If it sucks, then it sucks, right? up and let's go okay I'm lining it up I'm hoping that it's gonna be good it wasn't a great stamp but mm, what do you think you can definitely I mean, people are definitely gonna know you spent some time on that now the coconut color is probably not gonna come through well because I did it over white but Let's do it. Ice skirt. Oh, I should have cleaned my scraper. I didn't, that's okay. Oh, that's probably one. We oh man, that is a pretty cool stamp though. Okay, here we go. Can you guys see that? I definitely shouldn't have used that coconut over white, but on the upside, I was able to line it up pretty well. So I'm excited. And once again, my nails, like I said, are not this long, so I'm not gonna have any problems with stamping over. You guys, on the whole, I'm super excited with the Wild and Free Bundle 
and um, I would definitely recommend it. The layered stamping is a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, so I say do it, y'all. Just do it. And I do love the colors. The colors, the spiced gold and the coconut and the terracotta, the terracotta rose are all very pretty. So, um, Maniology, that's another A plus for me. Way to go. And um, if you guys want 10% off of your order, you're welcome to use my code GrooveMama at Maniology.com. And um, if you want to, I mean, if you want to, you could subscribe to this channel. That wouldn't hurt my heart. And you can also follow me on Instagram at GrooveMama. And until we meet again, people, I hope you decorate every nail you got. Bye!